Hello everyone, we will be making stylus rock material and turning it to smart material so we can use it on another project. Let's start. I will be sculpting rocks in Blender. I will just apply a Voronoi the displacement to the high resolution cube, then sculpt it. I'm fast forwarding the sculpting process because it's not the point of this tutorial, not to mention I'm bad at sculpting rocks. After finishing sculpting, I will be using decimate modifier instead of retopologize, just to save a bit of time. I will be using smart UV project, but you can just mark seams and unwrap however you want. We will be selecting both of the versions of high poly sculpt and low poly decimated mesh and exporting them as FBX for baking and texturing process in Marmoset. Make sure you tick the selected objects and the only thing we need is mesh, rest of the settings can stay as it is. Now we can switch to the Marmoset toolbag and start texturing. Click to file and import our rock we just exported as FBX from the blender. First thing I will be changing is skylight, uh, click to sky then presets and I will be using pass 3 smoother one. You can change the settings like uh, brightness, background type or color and if you want to change the direction of the light you can just uh, shift right click and drag. Next thing we will be doing is create a new bake project from the scene menu. After creating bake project, uh, you need to drag and drop both of the high poly and low poly meshes to bake project folders. I will be using 16 samples, 16 bits and 4K resolution for this project and check all the maps.
make sure you identify the output folder and file name. Now, uh, if you cannot bake 4K textures because you keep getting crashed, a uh, simple solution is lowering the specs. In my case, I did use the solution provided at this link, which is changing the TDR, stands for Timeout Detection and Recovery. This little software automatically changes the way of your GPU handling the freezes. It worked on my case, maybe it can be helpful for you too. I will put down the forum link in the description. After per view, you can just click bake and export maps to the location you just provided. Next step is create a new texture project from C menu and assign it a material. We'll need to assign those maps again we just baked. Switch to the texture working space and click on layers tab. First thing we need to do is add a base color to our rock. Uh, right click to the layers tab and add fill layer. We don't need anything else other than albedo map and roughness map. Next layer is gradient layer from bottom to top, add a fill layer top of the base color. Put a white paint mask on it. Play with the mask slider to find a good blend between layers. And then assign gradient to the mask layer. Manipulate sliders to get gradient textures, starting dark at the bottom of the stone and getting lighter at the top. Uh, I had some problem with the mask slider I have added here, so I had to add a second color mask to the gradient itself and control masking from there. I will be adding a fill layer at the top and I'll assign a texture to albedo the map of this fill layer.
for the texture, I have used the grunge map provided by the Marmosets library called Fingerprint Heavy. And they increase the tiling, assign a color, and make sure you have used projection method tree planner. Just like every layer, we will need to assign a mask for this layer to control the blending. I will be adding levels and curves adjustments to the fill layer just to make the texture a bit more interesting. After finishing with adjustments of this layer, uh, we will need to duplicate this layer, lower the masking value for both of the textures, 0.5 should be enough, and then rotate one of the texture to get better results. Our next layer will be a curvature layer, add a fill layer at the top, put a paint mask and assign a curvature to the paint mask, play with the sliders to get the results you want, and I will be adding a blur to the curvature layer. Uh, last thing we will be adding to this rock is moss. 
for that I will be using combination of direction and curvature modifier. Add a fill layer at the top. For the most, I will be using another grunge map called Lichen Dots Light from the Marmoset library. Assign it to the albedo map of the fill layer and pick a color, adjust the settings to get the better results. Finishing with that, add a blue layer directly to the fill layer. Next, add the fill max to the texture, then add a direction processor with a direction axis up and down. Actually, this direction determines how the most texture will be projected to the mesh. Think this modifier as a directional light that projects texture instead of light. Adjust the sliders to get better results. Next thing is we will be adding curvature modifier on top of that direction modifier. I will be using curvature modifier to remove most texture from edges of the rock and adding them to the cavities.
Last thing, I will be adding another blur processor to the curvature layer. Alright, I think we have our stylized rock now. Clicking on texture project at the scene menu, I will be exporting albedo, normal, roughness and ambient occlusion maps. Before creating a smart material, I'm gonna group all of the layers, name it, just to make it uh, look organized. Right click on the group and click on the save as a smart material. This will save this material to your library. If you want, you can export smart material too. After filling the information, click save and you can use this material on other objects you have. You may have need some adjustments, depends on the figure of the rock, but it definitely will be lower the time you spend on texturing. For demonstration, I will be using the cement material we have made on another rock mesh. There you go, as you can see it's a decent results even without adjustments. Thank you for watching and if you liked what you saw, like, comment and subscribe for more.